One of the things that I've really for a long time been wanting to sort of talk about on one of my two channels, I figure being that I'm kind of doing these more personal level off the top of my head videos on my secondary channel as I am, what a perfect time to maybe, you know, spin off into a video topic of this sort is basically, you know, how we as a culture, uh, specifically North American culture, you know, how we deal with teaching the youth of tomorrow about sexual education, that kind of thing. Um, I remember being in school and the just ass backwardness of it, you know, I mean, there was, of course, a slant going against in a lot of people, a Floridian sort of Southern redneck even culture, um, discriminatory slant toward gays and stuff like that. But it was also, you know, for all of us in middle school who were going through puberty and everything like that, you were considered and called outright a faggot if you admitted to masturbating, that kind of thing. Exploring your own sexuality, not even getting into the, the slant, you know, hate against gays and the unfairness of, of the, uh, you know, purported claims that they can choose to be gay or not and all that kind of stuff completely outlandish, just bullshit, hate-mongering statements and, and that kind of thing. But, I mean, when it came to my parents, I feel like they set a precedent because they were very open with me in, in you know, letting me know that if I had questions. Um, you know, they sat me down in my early teens, had the birds and the bees talk with me and everything, and they let it be known, even though it was uncomfortable for me, um, any time I had questions or concerns to, to come to them and talk to them because, and they would emphasize this in the culture they grew up in, in the fifties, sixties, when they were teenagers, their parents largely said nothing. You know, they didn't talk about it. There was no sex ed class. There was no internet, you know, to go exploring. I mean, if you were lucky, you could get like a, a Grey's Anatomy kind of book or something, whatever in the library and you'd have to make sense of, you know, it, it made no sense, put it that way. Um, it would just add more trials and tribulations to figuring that all out. And um, I think there is, especially in the culture of the day that it, there is today, the digital internet, you know, sort of World Wide Web culture where everything's now, now, now instant, there's a lot more potential for education, but I think we're still seeing, I mean, a lot of, there's a stigma in bringing that awareness across to your children, you know, how early do you? Because even in elementary school, kids are learning about it. Now we're getting a lot of, you know, future generations where they're going to be deadbeat parents. They're, they're ending up with illegitimate children and, uh, you know, sort of siphoning off the state from people who are genuinely disabled and in need of funding and stuff like that to help support their lives. And these people are knocking out kids left and right because their parents haven't been you know, trying to guide them on a better path. I haven't been a guidance for them, someone they can trust and go to and speak to. And um, it's just one of those things that I've thought for the longest time, you know, I want to be a voice of reason out there, kind of like my parents were, that you need to not feel ashamed. If you have sexual fascinations, if you're growing up and you want to explore what exactly, you know, you like, what what makes you feel whole and that kind of thing. Um, if, if you're homosexual, if you're heterosexual, if you're bisexual, if you're not sure what you are, it's perfectly okay, but you have to also be severely careful because there's a lot of stuff out there, sexually transmitted diseases and people who use other people. And, you know, it, there's a level of intimacy where you should not shotgun it, so to speak. You shouldn't just be giving it up to anybody, you know, willy-nilly and stuff like that, especially if you're female, but male as well. And, um, you know, I mean, I just wanted to kind of lay the groundwork, the foundations for maybe, you know, talking about this from time to time and um, be willing to answer questions if anyone has any. But it's one of those things where I think we really need to get a better handle on it, if possible, as soon as possible.